I know you've seen all those Teslas and other cool electric cars on the road, and you've been like, why does everybody have, why, does pe why do people want one, or why do they exist in the first place? Hi, my name is Jonathan Gorey, and I'm here to tell you why you need to plug in to save the Earth. The first big advantage of owning an electric car is the conservation of the Earth. Right now, about 97% of all car, of the car, uh, of all the pollution in the Earth comes from uh, cars. All those, uh, all those emissions go up into the atmosphere, create greenhouse gases, and in turn contribute to global, uh, to climate change, and the, um, and the break, breaking down the ozone layer. If all cars in the world became electric, that would drastically decrease the amount of pollution. And if all of those cars were charged by clean sources such as water, wind, and and uh, solar, that would be even better. There are some other reasons to switch to. My mentor, Mr. Stewart, told me, uh, said, who has owned an electric car for about five years now, has said that his daily commute from home to work, back home, is much easier now because it's much more convenient because he charges his car at night while in his garage. So when he's ready to go in the morning, he has a full battery. Um, another advantage of owning an electric car is that all of the new technology and advancements in cars are going into electric cars because they are, they are the new technology and advancements. There are a couple of cons, though, to owning an electric car, but they come with future solutions. One of the biggest cons is that right now they don't have as long of a range and they aren't as, um, and they take too long to charge. One solution that's happening right now is more and more char uh, car chargers are popping up all around the Metroplex. Right now, there's an app where you can go look on and see all of the spots where any electric car chargers are. And there's usually at least one in the nearest two miles from you. Another solution that's coming farther in the future is called a solid state battery. It's supposed to have about 2.5 times the capacity of a normal battery while only taking up about a third of the space. There are, like I said earlier, there are many new advancements in electric cars. Many are found in the new Tesla Model 3, which I have found interesting. One is that you can have your phone, you download the Tesla app, stick it with your car, and you have your phone in your pocket. You walk up to the car, it unlocks automatically, you sit in it, and it's already on, ready for you to drive. Another thing that comes in standard in all electric cars is that the motor is in the floor, so you have a trunk in the front and the back, allowing for more storage space. They also, in their motors, have what's called instant torque, which means when you put your foot down on the accelerator to any extent, you're using 100% of the motor, and that which is much better for stop and go traffic than a normal car, than an electric than a gas car. This is the first electric car ever, which was made in the early 1900s, and it had about eight horsepower and 30 miles of range, which is why electric cars didn't stick for a while, because the competing Ford Model T had about 30 horsepower and about 80 miles of range. These are just a few electric cars in their ca uh, they're leading the categories right now. This Tesla, Tesla Semi, which is out right now, is it, because most semi trucks right now are almost half contribute to almost half of the, pop, the pollution that come from cars. So the Tesla semi will, and all other electric semis will greatly decrease that. These are the Tesla Model X and the Model S, which are both great luxury cars. The Tesla Roadster, which comes out in, one, in a couple years, will when it comes out will be the fastest production car in the world, and will have a uh, zero to sixty time of less than two seconds, which is insane. And this is a Chevy, which is a rig compact car. Knowing all this, why wouldn't you switch to electric and plug in?